Good evening, folks. Uh, it is great to be here with you guys tonight on uh, Facebook Live. Uh, I am Roy Wright. Uh, I direct the National Flood Insurance Program here at FEMA. And uh, I just want to come back on tonight and debunk three particular myths um, that have been playing out in the flood insurance space as we begin to work with survivors, particularly those insured survivors uh, there along the Texas coast. Uh, the farther down south, Corpus Christi, um, Rockport, Victoria, um, some of you are being able to get back to your homes. Others are still waiting to have that opportunity. But I'm going to give this information for those who've been able to safely get back to your house. I'll give you some specific instructions uh, that you can take. So uh, these rumors that we really need to beat down really, really fast. The first one, we've heard of robocallers that are outward dialing to people like you saying if you don't make another payment on your flood insurance to them today, your policy's void. This is dead wrong. Do not take any information from anyone who is not a trusted source for you. As you work through flood insurance, you need to be talking to your agent, to your company, to the adjuster they assign, your local official or FEMA. If it's not one of those five, it's not real. And as the director of the National Flood Insurance Program, let me give you this assurance. We are not awaiting your payment in order for us to continue the relationship that we have. If you have a flood insurance policy, we are going to work with you all the way through this process. A second one for you. So there's a Texas state law that has been getting a whole lot of press uh, that deals with insurance and about a date reflecting September 1st. As it pertains to flood insurance, the kind that you get through the FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program, it's really, really simple. As we look at this piece, it is a federal program. The state law does not have any impact on us. And so if you are been able to safely get back to your home, if you've been able to file that claim with us, great. But that September 1 deadline has nothing, nothing at all to do with our program. Nothing to do with the FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program. So if you have a policy, if you're covered for flood insurance, at the point by which you're able to get back to your home safely, here's what I want you to do. I want you to call your agent or company, and I want you to say, I need to open a claim on my home. They are on standby. They want to help you down this line. Secondly, when you're able to get back safely, I want you to take that very phone you're watching me on right now, and I want you to go into video mode and walk around your house and take a video of all of it. Anything that's of value, I want you to take a, a specific picture of it, photos, 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 you need pictures of everything, absolutely everything. Now, we have some other tips for you about how you can begin to muck out your home and safely and how to sort through your pieces. Go to FEMA.gov forward slash hurricane dash Harvey. FEMA.gov forward slash hurricane dash Harvey. One more that I want to debunk. So and it just pains me that these are the kinds of things that get out there. But we got to go to trusted sources. As you work with that, here's the other one. Some have said, hey, I filed a flood insurance claim last year, so I cannot file one this year. That is dead wrong. If you are insured through the National Flood Insurance Program, I don't care if you filed one last year, five years ago, if you filed one two months ago. If you've experienced a loss related to Hurricane Harvey and the floods that have played out, that policy is one we are going to follow through on. So get in there, file your claim, take your photos, and go to FEMA.gov forward slash hurricane dash Harvey and get the information that you need. So. All of that is in play for you. If you get frustrated or confused, make sure you're reaching out to FEMA. But work with those agents you have on the ground. 
So let's recap these pieces, okay? First of all, there are no robocalls saying you've got to make a payment today. Dead gently. The Texas state laws related to insurance uh, that have some dates related to September 1st, not part of the National Flood Insurance Program, no impact on us. You can file your claim today or you can file your claim later. And third, if you filed a claim in the past, you absolutely can file a claim today. You can go to our website, get more information. For those who filed claims, we'll come back another time and talk a bit more about it. Uh, we're pushing advanced payments. Uh, the first uh, $5,000 moves very quickly. We can get up to $10,000 uh, here out of the gate with you. And then we're going to look at the losses you have, and we're going to work through that process with you and help you on the way to recovery. Okay. Thanks. Stay safe. Stay smart.